Today, we're going to be trying out a bunch of the brand new pipeline cards in MLB The Show 24. Now, most of you know that Luis Angel Jr. actually has a famous older brother. He's the younger brother of Ronald Acuna Jr. We've already used Jason Dominguez, so the Martian does not need any introduction. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I did not know who Roman Anthony was before this card came out, but on paper, he's now one of the best cards in the entire game. I was going to be upset if we did not get a Diamond Heston Kirstad card because this dude raked out of college, and a few days ago, he had 10 RBIs in one game. Matt Shaw is looking really good, or Elvis Martinez and Xavier Isaac are kind of the opposite of each other. One rakes against lefties, the other against righties. Set of Dane, Rafaela is not going to be the best offensively, but the speed is going to help out, and he's a demon defensively. And then probably the saddest card of the bunch, I say sad because the day that this Jefferson Cuero card was released in MLB The Show 24, it was announced that he was going to miss the entire season with a shoulder injury. For our rotation, we're going to go with Andrew Painter as our ace, but we have Noble Meyer, who, by the way, follows me on Twitter. Same with Mick Abel. I, I don't know how that happened, but that's cool. So without further ado, let's see what this Pipeline Series team can do. We are facing a gold Kyle Bradish. I thought it was Corbin Burns for a second, and I don't like facing Corbin Burns. I took the first pitch because I had to show you Luis Angels, or Luis Angel, I can't remember how to say it. But he basically has the exact same stance as his brother, so I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, man. You know what? I actually saw that ball pretty well out the hand. This might be a good gameplay. Jason Dominguez back up the middle. By the way, I'm going to say it. Jason sometimes, Jason another. I'm sorry. He's probably been my favorite pipeline card so far, but I'm waiting for a Jackson Holiday, a Jackson Merrill. There's so many Jacksons waiting for a pipeline card. I know the majority of those guys that I just talked about do have a diamond card, but I want a beefy 99. And I'm happy that we beat out the ground out. I'm in a very swing happy mood. I tried to tell you, I am... Wait, is that ball gone? Why did his right fielder not move at all? Why did... That was weird. All right, Heston, I'm going to need you to clutch up. I need that 10 RBI performance. I mean, that's a fantastic take. I am locked in. Heston, I think that we did a 104. I don't know if the ball carries that well at this ballpark. Heston Kierstad is 30% to what he did a few days ago when he had 10 RBIs in one single game. Nope, I'm not going to swing at that. I'm, I'm him right now. And then that ball is crushed as well. I don't know if I'm ever going to lose with this pipeline team. 59 speed. We're going to get in there. Now, the thing I have to keep in mind is I am literally facing a go oh. oh, my God. That could have been so bad because I was safe at first base, but I messed up my button so bad because I thought that it was going to get through. What I was about to say is I'm facing a gold cow bradish, so I got to temper my excitement. And that'll be the final out of the inning. Well, you know what? A three spot is good for me. How fast can Andrew Painter throw this fastball. What does he get up to? 100. Okay, that's fast. It says 101, but I don't know if I believe that. Let's see about this one. All right, here we go. Come on. All right, I'm going to just jam that sinker inside. That's probably going to be my go-to pitch today versus righties, and I just got to try and get it to be perfect. But if it's a sinker, sometimes it don't have to be perfect. Nice. Okay, I almost just jinxed myself so bad. Roman, Rowan. I don't remember if it's Roman or with a W. Always terrifying facing the scary Mike Trout, but that sinker has got some giddy up and some movement. All right, the slider looks pretty good as well. I've heard from a lot of people that sliders are actually the go-to pitch this year. Let's see if I can back that up. Oh yeah, Andrew Painter is painting, but also my opponent is chasing and he's using a Kyle Bradish card. And um, I got the chase bug. What am I doing swinging at that? <gasps> Thank you. And the, you know, he's gonna, I can't even speak now, just start over. That's just, if that stays in, that might be the worst ending of my life. Oh yeah, that's bad. Man, that is baseball in a nutshell. You come out swinging, you score three, and then you look like the worst player ever five seconds later. Oh man, man, it is, it is tough to throw sinkers inside to lefties this year. Last year, you used to just be able to spam them and you would usually get broken bats. Not this year. Oh no. Man, I'm super thankful that Ha Seung Kim has like five clutch. His his thing is so quick. You gotta really speed up your pitching thing when you are using Andrew Painter because it is it is quick. Come on. I think the only option I have is a fastball down. That was an absolute dot. I like the curveball. I like the curveball a lot from Andrew Painter. Hopefully I can paint the sinker downstairs in a way. Oh no. But you know what? I got him to roll over. That's the third out. I can confirm it is Roman Anthony, not Rowan. I don't know where I got that from. Okay, I'm not going to swing at that. Look at me getting it to a 3-0 count. I'm going to give Roman the green light, and I'm going to take a walk. Oh, whoa. He is trying so hard to get that sinker up and in, but his release must be terrible. There he goes. 
Ah, oh, no. Why would you throw a changeup right there? Okay, for some reason, I'm not seeing Bradish as well. My eyesight seems like it got worse over the last five minutes. That's probably the worst excuse I've ever come up with while playing this game, but I'm looking for him. Okay, that's a dot. I thought he was going to go with a fastball inside, so I was preparing for it. That's not a fastball, but I think we just missed it. We probably did. It's not going to go out. Nope. Nope. Chuck Nasty. He doesn't have the best arm, though. I'm going to get someone to third base. Yes, I am. Mm. I, I smashed that ball. I smashed that ball. If it stays fair, I think it's leaving. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Hey, you know what? That inning was much better than the second, so I can't really complain too much. I am leaving sinkers straight down the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and give Luis Arias his automatic single. Oh, my. I got him out. Nice. All right, so that slider is working really well. I've kind of stopped throwing it because I want to almost trick him more often. So no slider or slider. What am I saying? I meant to say sinker. My brain sucks. I'm going to try something crazy. I'm, I mean, I had the right idea. I wanted to bunt to second base, but it was so far away. You know what? I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. That's exactly where I wanted it. 88 speed. We should be able to get there. Look at me outsmarting my opponent, finally using my brain in this video. I'm hoping that drops. Nope. I get back to first base. Don't, don't do anything stupid. Atta boy. Luis Angel. Luis Angel. I can't remember how to say it. A little single. Nope. Don't swing at that one either. He's got to throw me a fastball or sinker inside the zone. Just don't drop my PCI. I mean, it's not a fastball or anything. That's going to get caught, isn't it? That's a joke. That's an absolute joke. The fact that that ball did not just leave. 108 miles an hour with 103 power and it didn't leave. Now Roman Anthony is going to have to do the dirty work. 74 speed. We should be able to get a triple out of this because I don't know where his third baseman's going, but I'm going to go three. Roman Anthony, he's really good, especially because they gave him that extra clutch, which is going to be very handy this year. So he's worked it to a 3-0 count. It seems like he's trying to hit me. And <laughs> I'm, I stupidly swing at something I shouldn't have swung at. Um, I, I, I'm going to dive. <laughs> That was one of the slowest dives I've ever seen. It's almost like he jumped and then the game pushed him forward. Oh no. I'm telling you, if you're gonna throw a sinker, make sure it's way inside. And if you miss your pitch, it's still probably a good pitch. He's trying for second. He's. Tr that was good. That was good. He avoids the double play. I mean, the bad news is he's got 61 clutch Hassan Kim up and they gave him a check swing on that. I'm up by 900, don't be too upset. There we go, there's the strikeout. Oh no. Give me that one back. He's thrown me... The last three swings dating back to the last inning have been hanging sliders and I've missed all of them. If I could wish for any superpower in the world, it wouldn't be invisibility. It wouldn't be super strength. It would be not dropping my PCI. I'm not joking. Little man, your friend Kyle, they all have that superpower of not having to drop your PCI and I wish I had it. But look at me taking ball four again. I... You know, I'm hitting baseballs pretty good. I got the perfect, perfect out with Jason and then that one right there. Listen, I know I'm winning, but honestly, it feels like it should be eight to nothing, not five to nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. This might be my opponent's first run. He's early. So what does my small brain do? If he's early, I'm going to throw a fastball in. Yeah, he is swinging out of his cleats right now. I'm going to try it one more time. This might be a home run sinker. Perfect pitch. Dude, he was so early. He swung yesterday. What about this one? I like Andrew Painter a lot. My opponent hates Andrew Painter. He's had enough. He's out of here. In one single game, we get Andrew Painter to parallel one. Okay. Now we're going to see just how good these pipeline players are because we're facing a little bit better of opponent. Just by a little bit. Atta boy. Dude, Dominguez is unstoppable. I don't remember who's in right field. I probably should have taken note of that. All right, we're going to be there easy. Is that Jackie in right? I can't see it. Nope. Oh man, he got that two seam to bite back in. But then again, I don't remember how two seams move out the hand of lefties. All right. Well, you know what? That's not really doing our job. We advanced the runner. Yeah, but there's two outs now. All right. All right. So we have to understand that against righties, he's going to jam upside and in with the fastball every time. That was not Jackie Robinson in right field. That was Roberto Clemente. Also, did you just see that first take that my opponent took? What? Who am I about to play? Honestly, kind of crazy, though, that the Phillies have Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, and Ranger Suarez, and then they have Andrew Painter and Mick Abel coming up the pipeline. Christopher Sanchez isn't that bad either, so Phillies could be an even bigger demon here soon. It's so crazy that Ricky Henderson actually hit like that back in the day. I should probably shut my mouth. I'm going to see if I can sell out for the fastball. Fastball in, and I, I mean, sometimes it's better to go down the middle than actually inside. We only took six... 
Mm -hmm. I was just about to say we only took six pitches, so we're going to take one. And he threw the fattest pitch so far of the, what, eight pitches he's thrown? Okay, don't swing at that one. Two seam inside, so we have a 3-1 count. I almost want to just take it to make Randy's pitch count just creep up a little bit. And, yeah, I'm going to take that. Oh, man. Oh, wait, that's gone. Did I just go lefty, lefty? Heston Kierstad is making an impression to join not just the regular squad, but the God squad. Um, or Elvis. Or, uh, that's directly to Ricky. What am I getting hyped for? Mm. Oh, that ball's... Die, die. <laughs> Listen, it's hard enough facing Randy and trying to go lefty, lefty. Don't do me like that game. Oh, man. People are going through wormholes to catch what's going on in this game. <sighs> All right, so the sinker inside works for some, but not everyone. Oh, I almost threw it to first base for some strange reason, but... Mick Abel, do they not teach PFPs in double A? See, this is an example of the game screwing you. Mick Abel just stops running, and now instead of a double play, there's a runner at first with only one out. Oh, he's got a really slow windup. Oh, I dove so early. I actually thought I was going to get there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ball do not lie. A double play. Last time I faced Randy with Jefferson Cuero, I went yard. I thought I did it again. Okay, you know what? I've heard a lot of competitive players saying lately that this is just MLB the good, good 24, and it might actually be that. Listen, I know it's baseball. Not everything is going to land, but this is not real life. This is a video game. User input should matter. Uh, man, he is... Randy's throwing absolute gas right now. It's kind of hard to catch up to 102 at my elbow. Got to really slow down with Mick Abel. Maybe that was too fat, or what is going on? So you got to be fairly slow with this Mick Abel card. His animation's not very fast at all i think i'm gonna go back to that 99 fastball instead of like the 95 sinker that was almost very bad back-to-back -back games facing this Hassam kim card i don't know why people i don't know why i still talk while pitching okay so that slider that slider is definitely gonna do some damage i'm gonna go one more slow outside mm. it's just it's always a base hit or a home run after a foul ball. Almost always. It's only frustrating because, I mean, I appreciate that chase, but I'm frustrated because I've had a lot of hard outs, and he just got on with Clemente just by flicking his wrist. All right, that's, that's big time. What does he have? 56 clutch. I'm just going to go back to good old reliable, the sinker inside. That is massive. I think we should get out of this 38. Sp Xavier Isaac, I want your address so I can send you a gift. That man deserves a PSA 10 Charizard at his doorstep by tomorrow morning. All right, I got to speed it up on fastballs up in the zone against Randy. Also, I do not have PSA 10 Charizard money. If you want to make that kind of money, don't play MLB The Show. I, I might have just gotten one, but I don't... <laughs> I missed it, so I'm actually okay with that. I, I tried to check swing. Even then, I got my PCI there. I hit it hard, and it's another out. This is why I sometimes don't want to post every single day, because I feel like if I did, I would lose my mind. Uh, That's not... Oh, actually? Ronald's brother looking like Derek Jeter. All right, so the one thing I can confirm is that my opponent is trying to sell out for that sinker inside, so I have to keep that in mind. Like, it's still working, but if I get too predictable, he's going to mash it. And Luis Angel is going to make another play. Can you... Dude, a little too quick. Obviously, I'm joking. Nolan almost beat that out. Like, can we speed up these animations, please? And while we're at it, let's go ahead and reduce the foul balls and give everyone better results on good good dude i gotta speed up the bat this is not a complaint video but i just want to make sure that people know that this game is not perfect dude there's no way that isaac is gonna get robbed again right okay well i'm trying oh I... man he's actually doing a great job at tunneling and mixing up his pitches because he goes fastballs up then he goes fastballs away for an entire inning it's really confusing all right can we speed this one up it's still a little slow oh that's a really good take 101 I, that's by far the hardest pitch I've thrown today. I'm going to go to the sinker inside. <clears throat> yes! I don't feel comfortable throwing a sinker, a slider, anything to Dylan Cruz. I cannot get Dylan Cruz out consistently. Got to get Kim. I got to get Kim. I'm painting right now. I, I pretty much want to avoid the sinker inside because he's been hunting for that. Fastball away. Eh. Break out the changeup. Break out the changeup. I... 
Well, everyone, it's been nice knowing you. Here's a home run or a base hit. Something must be wrong. Yo, did they take hot dogs out the game straight up? They... I found you. You can't hide. C come back. And ah, my opponent has thrown 37 or 39 pitches through five and a third. I, I had a feeling he was going to go fastball up, but for some reason, the two seam looked like a changeup. Maybe down the line. Yes, Jason is going to get maybe his second double. I'm not going to run on Ricky because he got there pretty quick. Atta boy. Roman Anthony, I have a little trick for you guys. If you're facing a lefty with a left-handed hitter, move over to the right so you can see the right portion of your monitor or screen. For some reason, it just makes it a whole lot easier, and I'm not trying to give you all the hacks and everything, but it does work out. Mm. I gotta hit. I, I can't. No, I cannot miss that. I can't miss hanging slurves down the middle. I, if I swing at one more fastball upstairs and I don't swing quick enough, I'm going to actually maybe jump out. No, I'm not going to say that. Roman, awful, awful, awful jump, but he recovers. By the way, that was a perfect swing from Clemente, so I'm done talking about the hitting engine. It's just so much better to be late or early or something like that. If, if this if this is not an out, oof. All right, there it is, a one, two, three inning. I had the bunt defense on because I have a feeling, why else would you have Ricky in your lineup if you're just not going to bunt? All right, so we're going to lay off the two seam inside. So he likes two seams inside to lefties and outside to righties. Then he goes slurve at least once like that. We worked it to a 3-2 count. I got to focus up. Okay, I got it. 103 is hard to catch up to, though. And then I chased that. It would have been ball four. I hit it decently well, but it's just not carrying right now. What am I talking about hitting it well? I hit it 86 miles an hour. That's not that great at all. There we go. See, you tell yourself to be early. Then apparently you're very early, even though you've been very late the entire game. And it's just maddening. I... <laughs> Why? Why is that only hit 95? Can we talk about that for a second? I swear, if you play this game for more than an hour or two every single day, I don't know how you're alive. How is your brain not putting at that point? Like, especially if you're one of those crazy people and you play every single day on Legend, how are you not clinically unwell? How are you not in a hospital somewhere? I see. I try to tell you guys, the sinkers do work for most people, but others can actually catch up to it. No, no, don't you even think about dropping. That's a big outfield, but Rafael has got a lot of speed. My opponent and I are basically having the exact same game. We're getting bailed on foul balls. Our opposing pitcher has like 13 pitches. Let's not throw curveballs in the zone. Or, I mean, I think that still was in the zone. It was not in the zone, but now I got to face Dylan Cruz. I see the only way to get Dylan Cruz out is for him to get himself out. Up, come on. There, there has been zero breaks that have gone my way in this game. Zero. Oh, wow. Dude, that slur from Randy, every time I see it, I'm just dumbfounded because I can't believe it has so much bite and movement to it. There's the fastball. I, I don't get it. I got to bail out and put the PCI anchor up and in because I just can't. I, I can't reach it. I'm sick. I'm sick. I don't think I'm very early, but maybe I was. Now he's probably going to go fast while upstairs. I got to catch up to it. That's not a... This, this game is broken. It's not... This is... I'm not that early, I promise. It's maddening. It, it's truly maddening. All right. We just have to somehow stay positive and get some base hits. Again, my opponent hit a perfect, perfect with this guy, Clemente, a few innings ago. So it's been rough for both of us. That fastball upstairs, we none of us can reach it. Oh, no, this I, I have an awful, awful feeling that he's about to hit a two run and I'm gonna lose two to one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> throw it, throw it, throw it. Alright, let's go put up a three or four spot. Let's get some insurance runs. That's <clears throat> and that's gonna go foul, isn't it? Oh my, it actually stays fair. We're going to get a double with Roman Anthony. I almost cannot believe my eyes. It feels like I'm dreaming right now that we just got a base hit and got rewarded. Shame on you, Fuzz. Shame on you. Oh, there's just, 
there's just no physical way that I'm able to get my PC up fast enough. So he takes a pitch and then he brings in. Oh no. Oh, I thought Richie did it. See, this game straight up feels broken right now. I'm man enough to say that it probably should be a tie game right now, just according to the current box score, because that should have been a home run. Oh man, okay. All right, just, oh, please. Okay, I thought something crazy was about to happen. Man, the Phillies pitchers stepped up in this video. Shout out to them. Between the first game with Andrew Painter and that complete game shutout with Mick Abel, that's 14 straight without a run allowed. And if you know me, I give up runs all day long, so they carried me. Obviously, Heston's home run was huge, but the reason why we won, Mick Abel, the player of the game. And there you have it, the Pipeline squad, they went 2-0. I would say my favorite pipeline card's gotta be The Martian, he's amazing. Heston went lefty-lefty off of Randy, so that's super impressive. Also, Andrew Painter and Mick Abel, yeah, they're worth it as well.